For the first time in decades, the US has approved a new drug that could be used to slow the progression of Alzheimer's. It's the first treatment to target the cause of the disease, which affects about 30 million people across the globe. My dad, like most people, when they think of their father, you know, was a wonderful person. And, uh, um, you know, we think of him very fondly. You know, he was generous. Um, he was a clever person. You know, he'd done some things of real significance in his life. Andy Watts's father, David, received an OBE from Prince Charles for a lifetime of work at the Ministry of Defence. He lived with Alzheimer's for the last 14 years of his life. It was a slow uh, change. You know, in the first instance, he knew what was going on. And uh, he would write things down and hide it in his wallet in order, you know, not to be exposed. But then there comes a time as it matures where he can't do those things. And um, he st was still a positive, generous man. Sylvia Spate was diagnosed with the disease four years ago. And it has changed my life as far as friendships and things like that and going out and going on holiday with friends. Um, um, I think when you've got dementia, people step back because they're, they're more afraid of it than what you are. Until now, the focus of Alzheimer's drugs has been to ease symptoms. This is the first to target the actual cause of the disease. It breaks down the sticky protein that builds up a plaque in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. It's hoped removing that plaque will help slow the onset of the condition. That discovery was made 30 years ago, thanks to research by a British charity. It's been underfunded for so many years. And I think uh, we have got a situation now where we do have great researchers with great tools doing great research. And there's so much hope. Like I say, over well, 126 drugs are currently being tested and lots of them are targeting amyloid, but they're also targeting other proteins that we now know play a role. Late stage trials of the drug aducanumab were halted in 2019 when analysis showed it wasn't better at slowing memory deterioration. More than 100 potential treatments for this cruel disease have flopped in the past decade. It's too late for Andy's dad, but if this new drug were approved for use here, at least 100,000 people could benefit. Enda Brady, Sky News.